up until now, you thought about St. Petersburg and art, and it all came to mind was the Dali Museum, the Chihuly Museum, the Museum of Fine Arts, and all the little arts and galleries in between. Not anymore. Since 2010, the Florida Craft Art, a nonprofit organization that exhibits and sells local artist work, has been instrumental in bringing the murals to the streets of St. Petersburg. In some instances, it was to clear the walls of unsightly graffiti. The city had a program, and what they did was just paint over the graffiti. Problem was, it didn't work. The next morning, the graffiti artists had done their thing and had graffiti art all over the newly painted walls. Then, the Florida Craft Arts St. Petersburg Part Art Alliance and donations for public, businesses, and the city came together with another plan to bring artists and start identifying walls where murals could go. to see the murals in St. Pete is just to walk. So let's put on some comfortable shoes and let's go. Okay, this is, I first thought these were like space aliens, but they're Are supposed they? to be, no, they're supposed <laughs> to be like Egyptian and Mayan cultural, you know, oh, his really? own kind of characters out of those cultures. <laughs> and you'll notice they often have street names. So um, the reason for that is that um, they started out doing graffiti, so you don't put your own name on it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so they started with street names, but then some of them have never been graffiti artists, but it's just cool to be a street name, mm -hmm. like um, like Tess One, you know, that's Leon Bedore. Central Avenue and 20th Street in the sidewalks, the side walls, front stores, back alleys, the murals are showing up and they're gorgeous. Some store owners aren't waiting to get a freebie, they commission their own. Part of what St. Pete is doing with the uh, buildings downtown and we contacted uh, a person who gave us a local artist, Sarah Shepard, and she um, along with us, came up with the idea. Uh, we wanted it to be China related. But because this is an exterior, something they could see without going in a museum or mm -hmm. yeah. a gallery, all of a sudden, it is a city of the arts and it's very apparent that it is. And so people believe in it themselves, people um, spread the word, people come in to see it. The, the Dalai Museum. Right. Yeah. Everything about St. Peter's is the Dalai Museum. Well, now, American Airlines, if you fly American Airlines and you get the magazine out of the pocket and you open it up, it's about photographed art and murals. That's oh. And um, that's why I say travel writers are coming all the time. Yeah. This is Extreme Ethel, and yeah. Ethel started AARP. We were just chosen as one of the 15 best mu mural cities in the world. That's not the country, folks, that's the world. And that was by the Huffington Post. St. Petersburg was chosen as number seven out of 15. Other, the only other two cities in the United States were San Francisco, far behind at number 13, and Washington, D.C. at number 12. So this is Twiggy. Oh my um, heaven. And it, the real Twiggy been here because she still does work with HSN and we're involved with it because I think it's totally cool yeah. <laughs> and, and I really want it I want to be part of something that is very cool as we when we got involved in the murals our um, profile of our customer dropped in age yeah. big time. so when life hands you lemons do like St. Pete make lemonade add a little tequila and make a margarita salute St. Pete <laughs>